<laughs> Look at that view. Imagine waking up to that every morning. Welcome back to Jackson, Wyoming, and welcome back to the Amangani Hotel. Unfortunately, it's my last day here today. Last night, when we arrived back at the hotel, you couldn't see any of this. It was super stormy and overcast, but it turns out overnight, that storm dusted those mountaintops with some snow, which is perfect timing because today I'm catching an aerial experience to discover Jackson, Wyoming from the sky. Let's hit it. Okay, before we go, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of this hotel room at the Amangani. What's pretty cool is that Rolls-Royce have gone and personalized each room for every guest with little signature features. This is a case in point. This is a photograph of someone handcrafting parts of the Cullinan. Now we've got some info down here. Crafting Cullinan. And then in here, this box has got lots of little postcards of details of each production stage that goes into this wonderful car. And that's all very cool, mini bar, etc. But my favorite feature of this room has got to be the bathroom suite. I mean, not only is it just super cozy and warm with all this rich wood, but my favorite feature has got to be this bath. Not because of the bath, because of this view. Check this out. Imagine having the bath. If I just pull on that, open this, that is the view you have outside from the bath. It is absolutely stunning. You can see over the entire area of Jackson, all the way up to the mountains, which have been lightly dusted with snow overnight. A shower in there, which also, by the way, shares the same view. It is super cool. And then you've got this huge wardrobe here. You'll have to forgive the mess. I am in the middle of packing up, because today, as I mentioned, is my last day. And here is the massive double bed, which also shares that same incredible view. This place is really special. And one more really cool feature. Check out the fireplace. One button on. How awesome is that? I gotta tell you, I did actually put this on last night. <laughs> it was getting a little bit cool and just to be able to have that to warm up your room is such a nice feature. So in the business, we call this situation a slight change of plan. <laughs> um, now obviously, right at the opening of this video, I did say that I was taking an aerial experience, a flight in a light aircraft uh, to tour the mountains of Wyoming. Well, that beautiful snow that I was talking about earlier has, uh, well, cocked up the plans somewhat. Turns out the pilot doesn't think it's safe. Just so happens that despite me being on the Cullinan launch, Rolls-Royce decided to fly out a few more of their cars to join the show. Hence me conveniently being sat in the Rolls-Royce Dawn Black Badge. And it's the Black Badge which I'm really interested in. Now, and I'm gonna say this because I say it a lot, if you're a regular follower of this channel, you'll know that I went through a phase of um, having a craving for a convertible car. And I drove a few of them last year, trying to narrow down options as to which one might take the fancy. And of all the cars that I drove, the Rolls-Royce Dawn uh, sort of stuck with me. It, I don't know what it was because let's face it, the majority of the cars that I experience are the supercars and sports cars of the world. And so I drove things like the McLaren 570 Spider, very fast, uncompromised car, carbon tub. You take the roof far from there's no structural integrity issues because of its carbon fiber underpinnings but there was something about the dawn that just stuck with me and I think what it is is it's the most sociable car of the lot it's huge the idea for me of taking along three of your mates with the roof down in a car of this majestic nature just appeals to me so much I think because this isn't designed to be the last post of performance and it's more about just cruising along and enjoying the environment you're in. I love the idea of being able to take friends and family along with you for the ride. Now the wheelbase of this is huge and in the back it's even though it is a coupe, it's a two-door, in the back is 
more space than most four-door cars. It's absolutely huge. But what we're in is the black badge. Now, what they've managed to do is extrapolate another 30 horsepower from this wonderful V12 engine. And what that has resulted in is 593 brake horsepower, and torque is also up 15 pounds-feet to 620 pounds-feet of torque. It also takes this road yacht to 60 in just over four and a half seconds, which in the sports car and supercar world doesn't sound you know, like a groundbreaking achievement, but believe me, in this, it is a feat of wonder. It's to effortless torque, that's what this thing is. It is, funnily enough, the strap line that has been following the Cullinan around is effortless everywhere, which of course is important because that car is designed to go off-road, but I think you could apply that just as much to this car, not so much with the off-road bit, but everywhere and every element of being in this car is an effortless, frictionless waft. It's a wonderful thing. Now, Black Badge, really, you can read into that as being the fast one. That's what this is. It's, it's designed to be uh, a little bit more dynamic. The result of which is it's taken a car which, on the outset, looks like it is a sort of uh, soft, chilled cruiser, but when you put your foot in, like so. Oh, oh, oh. Vast swirl of torque. It's wonderful. Memory of driving the Silver Badge Dawn isn't super fresh in my mind. However, I don't recall the steering weight feeling this good. I, I recall it being a very light, sort of floaty experience. Whereas this, the steering feels lovely and weighted. It sounds like it has a little bit more of a bassy undertone, reminding you that you are, in fact, piloting a 6.6 litre V12 engine, which in a car like this as well is adding to the Exotica, despite the fact that it is ultimately a sort of sleeper that is disguising this, well, Wild Thuring Jackson, grizzly energy underneath the hood. It's a fabulous thing. And the black badge as well comes with some really unique interior details. When you're in it, they've elevated. I mean, and I never thought this would be possible because when you sit in a Rolls Royce, the last thing you think is, they need to improve the interior on these things. They're, they're, they're incorrect. Everything is like being in a sort of Linley showroom. That's what they're like. But with this, they've uh, applied this more sort of contemporary, dare I say it, sportier edge. It kind of reminds me of Pagani's Carbotanium. There's subtle features, like the chrome isn't as chromey. It's a dark chrome, it's like a smoked chrome, and it's sort of taken that traditional edge off what the silver badge is and applied this contemporary feel to it. And that was the whole point of the black badge. Rolls-Royce very cleverly cottoned on to the fact that younger audiences were interested in the cars, and when they eventually got their hands on them, they would take them out of the Rolls-Royce domain and have them fettled and fondled and tuned by third parties, which is completely fine, but if you want to retain that majestic integrity that comes with this brand, why not do it in-house? And that's what Black Badge is. It's designed to elevate your, dare I say it, standard roller to something with a bit more energy, with an undertone of Mike Tyson. It's designed to punch you in the face when you need it, but sophisticated enough that it can wear a tie and escort you to the ball. Now, of course, we are in the dawn which translates to the roof coming off. And the great thing about this car is if you're doing 30 miles an hour or under, you can in fact drop the roof as you're rolling along so as not to uh, disturb your momentum because who wants that? Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. And it's silent. By the way, Rolls-Royce claim that this is the quietest roof mechanism in the world. Once again, you don't want your tranquility disturbed. Heaven forbid. Now all I need is an eagle to fly over me and life is complete. Look at this. Oh, there's a there's a smell in Jackson right now. It's rained recently and there's this sweet smell in the air. And that's what I particularly love about convertibles. It connects you with the outside world like nothing else. There is a million miles above my head. It is me and the stratosphere, snow-capped mountains, and a wonderful V12 from Goodwood. Gosh. Absolutely astounding.
Okay, well, I can honestly say this has been one of the best journeys I've ever had. It's been, it's been very short, but incredibly sweet. The Amangani Hotel is out of this world. If you're ever, for whatever reason, coming to stay in Jackson, Wyoming, check out the Amangani. Now, unfortunately, I have to head home. I gotta go back on a plane. I've got three transfers to, to get from here back to the UK. Uh, on the way here, it was like a 24 hour round trip, but uh, conveniently, I now get to get chauffeured back to the airport, I believe, in this very car, so it could be worse. Basically, things keep changing on this event. I'm not getting uh, in the plane, and I was gonna be in a, in a dorm, but now we are in the Cullinan with Hello. a familiar face. How's yeah, it going? It's good. How's it's your better, event been? Oh, it's it's lazy, I love Lazy Door. It's the, I'm gonna try it myself. Let's do this out. <laughs> I mean, you could get used to that. Look at that, automated doors. There we go. Oh, so, magic. what do you think, man? It's been good. Well, well, what can one say, right? We aren't used to, what, basically three day launch events. No, normally it's a kind of turn up, drive, depart. This yeah. has been an opportunity to completely, I guess, take in the whole atmosphere of yeah. Rolls yeah. Royce, the cars, the Cullinan, drive it on different days, different experiences. Yeah. It's special, isn't it? This is going out after the impressions, so mm -hmm. we can talk about it. Good. <laughs> is it is it as you expected? So my um my summary of this, right? Yeah. Is that every single product, car or otherwise, uh -huh. the best is compared to a Rolls Royce. It's true. Yeah. The absolutely. expectation on a new Rolls Royce product so is high. sky high. So high. Yeah. Therefore, it's almost the challenge for Rolls Royce to make it that good. Yeah. If it isn't that good, you're going to pick up on the flaws, not necessarily. Absolutely. No. 100%. I was actually a little bit nervous first yeah. driving this because it's one thing them launching a new car of a similar platform. Yeah. Going into a completely different market, completely yes. different style of car, doing an SUV or shall I say high-sided vehicle. Um, was was like, you know, my expectations were are they going to be able to pull this off? Yeah. And I, what I loved about the event was the amount of time we spent off-road. That was really yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Blasting down the dirt tracks, that was incredible, man. The tracks through the trees, yeah. and then the, the ski slope side of things. But the I think what's interesting about it to me is it's not it's not, you know, a Bentayga or an Urus competitor or something no, like that. Not it's, at all. It's, it's its own, it's thing, own isn't it? thing. Yeah. It's you you might instinctively from the outside say, you know, it's another luxury SUV. Mm-hmm. But it's it's it's, it's just it's, 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 a, just it's a different thing, isn't it? It's funny on the the dawn drive I've just had. I said the same thing. They yeah. do an incredible job of highlighting their own DNA. The SUV market right now is exploding. Yep. It's a very difficult task to engineer in a totally different feeling, and I think Rolls Royce have really managed to like sprinkle Definitely. that flavor on it. And I think with going forwards, yep. as this market is just changing rapidly, yeah. it's quite an important thing for the brand that they do stay true to themselves. Absolutely. With that. I haven't been told this, but I'm sure this is the quietest SUV in the world, right? It has to be. It's the same engine from Phantom, which was the quietest engine in the world. <laughs> it, was, yeah. it was absurd. Yeah. The, yeah. The, the difficulty almost is that, well, two, twofold. You walk around a car that's running and you don't realize it's running because you can't hear the thing. Yesterday, the thing is, I turned my car off thinking it was, yeah, exactly. thinking, there it, we go. thinking it was ready to turn on. I turned yeah. it off. Exactly <laughs> what I meant. And the other thing I did yesterday was Paul was in the car with music yeah. blasting out ridiculously loudly. Yeah. I'm filming the car from the outside with no idea. I open the door and I'm like, what? Hit by this massive <laughs> wave of audio. Yeah. <laughs> like, where did that come from? Because the sound deadening's so good. No, it's cool. Oh, one comes, the door comes the other way. Lovely. That's also a black badge, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's super cool. But the, uh, yeah, here's a, here's a funny fact. So, the supercars that you and I more regularly find ourselves in, mm. the likes of a 720S or yeah. 675, yeah. this is more than double the weight of one of those. Wow. It's a big, it's heavy absurd, thing. isn't it? Yeah, right. Big heavy thing when you think about that rolling along. The yeah. Road. What I love though is they play it as one of their strengths. How they're so proud of adding like another hundred kilograms of sound <laughs> deadening into a car. Yes. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, the ethos yeah, yeah. is so d different. And then it's it's when talking about the uh, the architect architecture of luxury. Yeah. There's like there's a, a section which doesn't have sound deadening. Okay. The sound deadening could be added. Yes. But it acts as a, a, a subwoofer for the speaker. That's right. The, yeah. The opening in the it's very chassis. cool. <laughs> My favorite line of the whole event was the designer of the exterior of the car um, talking about the uh, genteel taper. Yes. <laughs> that is my favorite line of all time. The genteel taper of the bodywork. Like Only Rolls Royce could get away with such terminology. Yeah, Alex, Alex is fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> cool. Anyway, to the airport.
Okay, so I've packed my uh, camera uh, so I can't film on it properly. So I'm going to sign off here on my uh, phone. Look who's just joined us in the nick of time. Uh, I think we'll all agree, amazing adventure. I've been busy spotting moose. Dude. How was your moose spotting adventure? Good. The better look than our bear spotting? Much better. Okay. I think we're being called. Right, as always, thanks for watching. I okay. shall see you next time. Ciao. Ciao.